the interracial couples announced uh, a 10 week series of deepenings on the most vital and challenging issue, which they had explained to me uh, it was racism. And uh, that if, if you're gonna take the course, you had to sign up for all 10 sessions. So I said, you know, fine, I haven't read anything. So let me start there. That was my introduction to the Baha'i writings was through the theme of the oneness of humanity. Those were the people that I really got to know in the community, the people who were in that devotional in that study session. And uh, the, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the facilitators of that study session, uh, I was sort of pummeling him with lots of questions, you know, because I had just discovered black people and he was my primary informant on black people. After a while, he said, you know, Jan, uh, black people are getting a little tired of answering white people's questions. Uh, so, um, how about you read something and then we'll talk. So he gave me a stack of books, Soul on Ice, uh, Autobiography of Malcolm X, uh, Invisible Man, uh, Native Son. I took them home and I read them. It got me on the path of uh, reading. And I had always thought of myself as being rather worldly and very well educated and all that sort of thing. I was sort of shocked at uh, what I didn't know, how much I didn't know. That there was a whole world that I knew nothing about. There's a whole world of experience that I was totally unconscious of. I had no idea of the reality of what it meant to be black in the United States of America at that time. And you know, at that time, there weren't a lot of, uh, there weren't a lot of movies about black people. Uh, around. So if you didn't get it from a book, you didn't really get it anywhere. I had just become a Baha'i, so I asked you know, somebody in the community, well, now that I'm a Baha'i, what do I do? And he says, well, uh, the first thing you do is you figure out what your prejudices are and get rid of them. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a job. One of the things I discovered was that I didn't have any particular prejudices against black people. I was just ignorant. You know, I didn't know they existed, you know? And uh, the, that I had a lot more prejudice, you know, invested in education and attitudes toward people who were not educated. And, uh, and, and so I had, my, my prejudices were, ed, were educational and class prejudices. Mm -hmm.